Namaste. Welcome to Vishwa Yoga. My name is Vishwa. In the previous video, I talked about two approaches to yoga. One is Vedic and other is Tantric. Today, I will talk about Vedic Yoga and how similar or different it is from classical yoga. If you look into Vedas, yoga practices existed for over 10,000 years and were passed down by masters in the oral form. But this knowledge was scattered or not formally systemized. It was much later in the post-Vedic period that Sage Patanjali compiled and systemized the yoga philosophy, its theory and practices in a very methodical way, which is known as Astang Yoga or classical Raj Yoga. As you know, Rig Veda is considered the oldest known text. Vedas can be divided into two sections, one related to rituals, sacrifices, ceremonies, and actions, which when performed lead one to apara or worldly benefits such as health, wealth, progeny, material benefits, enjoyment, power and protection, as well as para or other worldly benefits such as spiritual wisdom. These rituals are known as yagya and homa or havana or fire offerings. Today you may see these being performed by a priest or someone who is trained or performed these rituals under the guidance of a qualified teacher. On the other hand, Gyanakand includes the philosophical teachings of the concluding part of Vedas called the Upanishads, which deals with pure wisdom leading to liberation. And this is where yoga comes in the picture, which is practiced by an individual but must be taught or initiated by a qualified teacher. These practices are also referred to as yagya. Thus, the oldest form of yoga originated from Vedas and is referred to as Vedic yoga. So, Vedic yoga was created by Vedic seers. Probably, you might have heard of seven great sages or seers called Saptarishis. In each era or Manavantara, the names of these seven rishis vary. But for simple understanding here, I can say that Vedic Yoga was created by the sage Angira and Bhrigu families. Now let me directly jump into the types of Vedic Yoga based on each Veda first. So Rig Veda or Book of Mantras gives the foundation of Mantra Yoga. Yajur Veda or Book of Rituals give the foundation of Prana Yoga as well as Karma Yoga. Samved or Book of Songs gives the foundation of Dhyan and Bhakti Yoga with its melody. And Atharved or Book of Spells gives the foundation of Tantra Yoga with its magical charm. Some conservatives only consider the first three Vedas as the main and exclude the other Veda due to its unique focus and composition which is slightly different from the other Vedas. So I will focus on Tantric Yoga separately. But you can see the major seed of all the major branches of Yoga is found in Vedas. However, to relate to a Stang Yoga the first three branches are mainly considered Vedic Yoga, Mantra, Prana and Dhyana Yoga. So let's first understand each branch on a very high level. Mantra is the foundation of Vedas. They are in the form of a speech. In Mantra Yoga practice, a mantra is generally given through a special initiation which is the foundation of Vedic practice. Thus. 
द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ वेदिक योगा बिगिन्स विथ वेदिक मंत्रस दीज मंत्रस आर ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स नेम सीड एंड प्रेयर और सुप्तम नेम मंत्र यूज द नेम ऑफ अ डिटी अ मोस्ट कॉमन सीड मंत्र इज लाइक ओम एंड ए पॉपुलर एंड रिवियर्ड सुप्त मंत्र इज गायत्री a practitioner repeats this mantra as a chant or japa to purify and enhance his or her consciousness to approach the universal consciousness or deity prana yoga includes techniques of pranayam along with mantra connecting with a deity in the form of cosmic energy these practices also include observing and controlling the five prana vayus the five senses and the five organs it leads to the awakening of inner prana and kundalini shakti thus prana yoga is mainly defined as three types the first one is mantra prana in this practice vedic mantra is used along with pranayam in a very systematic way the second one is pure prana practice in which apart from pranayam mental attitude is used to observe the basic desires will and motivation to develop the power to control our senses and organs the third type is prana dharana kriya in which prana is visualized as a vedic deity to concentrate and awaken the power of perception it is said that the kriya yoga of paramahans yoganand is one of the prana yoga practices dhyan yoga or meditation is a progressive stage from previous branches of vedic yoga which includes meditation on a mantra use of prana or focusing on a deity preferably on your ishta devata or devi thus vedic dhyan yoga can be divided into two types one is deity dhyan practice which includes the mantra of a deity using a prana dharana leading to dhyan the second type is meditation on self which includes vedantic practices of self inquiry self observation and seeding the consciousness with mahavakyas such as aham brahmasmi or i am god the goal of vedic yoga is to lead to samadhi or the state of total absorption with the universal consciousness or with the isht in vedic terms the samadhi or supreme union is referred to as anand or amrit the bliss or nectar of immortality if you ever wonder why so many monks name ends with word anand such as vivekanand shivanand etc this is a hint you can understand the rest so to experience this pure bliss or anand it requires purification of not only body and mind but also the openings of all the energy channels of the subtle body called nadis and to have that one must follow the path of vedic yoga systematically now putting all these yoga together is known as purna yoga or complete yoga with fullness purna yoga is also called integral yoga though purna yoga is explained in many different ways but for the sake of simplicity i will leave it like this however please be mindful that some masters such as sri aurobindo and sachidananda use the name purna yoga or integral yoga as their brand name but their approaches were different now let's connect the dot between vedic yoga to ashtanga yoga as you can see the three fold vedic yoga appears slightly different than the eight fold classic yoga or ashtanga yoga but in reality 
it is the expansion of the same the first two limbs of ashtang yoga are usually covered under the dharma or basic duty of each practitioner as he or she knows what must be restrained and observed in other words keep your nature values and diet in check for spiritual growth and practice in vedic yoga asana primarily relates to taking a comfortable seat to start the mantra practice so mantra yoga begins in the third limb of raj yoga and continues to the next few limbs as prana yoga begins in the fourth and continues until the fifth limb with pranayama along with mantra together they shape the state of mind to the next stage for dhyan yoga which also includes mantra and prana plus the last three limbs of raj yoga dharana dhyan and samadhi this is how vedic yoga branches fits into classical yoga now connecting with major yoga branches which came later both hat and patali la yoga are mapped to prana yoga and raj yoga and patali la yoga fall into dhyan yoga please keep in mind depending on the source and approach these major yoga branches are either considered vedic or tantric for example there are vedic and tantric mantras there are vedic and tantric hatha yoga texts so it all depends on the approach as you know sankhya's tattvas are common between yoga and tantra thus both vedic and tantric masters use classical yoga as the standard framework and in vedic all the eight limbs are emphasized so remembering the name of a purna yoga now let me conclude with a beautiful mantra this is a shanti mantra from ishavasha upanishad connected to yajurved as it starts with the word purn or complete om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnam gachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 he so this was a quick summary of vedic yoga please let me know if this information was useful for you or drop any question or comments thank you very much for watching this video see you next time namaste thank you so much for listening if you like the information please subscribe like and share so that everyone else can also enjoy this Ooh.